Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts DIY, and well, we're on the topic of worm composting. I wanted to show you how I use what I think is the best byproduct of a worm composting system, and that's worm tea. Welcome back to our subscribers. If you're not part of the family, you can join us by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that will appear in the bottom right-hand corner throughout the video. Of course, you can also get worm castings out of your worm composter, but it takes a lot longer to create those than it does to create the worm tea. The more water you're running through your system, the more it's acting as a solvent to rinse those nutrients out of the working compost and turn it into worm tea. And the good news is that you can get a fair amount of worm tea out of a worm bin on a regular basis. Here's an example of a worm bin I set up about a week and a half ago. You can see how much tea it's produced although it's really not at the finished concentration yet. If you haven't seen the DIY project on making this worm bin, you can click on the card above. Once your worm composter is creating tea, to use it is very simple. Now I've seen dilution ratios on the internet between one to one all the way up to one to 10 as a maximum recommended dilution. You can actually put this stuff on straight. However, I like to get more liquid out of my system, so I'll dilute it with a one-to-one -one ratio using rainwater from my rain barrel and then apply it to the base of the plants. So it's really just that simple. You got a bucket of rainwater, you got a bucket of your worm tea, and then a watering can to apply. I pour in from up high to mix well and entrain a little extra oxygen in with the water. Then simply transfer my diluted mixture to the watering can and carry it to my plants for application. Because this is a fertilizer application, I apply less than I would if I were watering the plants. I also take care to avoid runoff. I don't want to waste this liquid gold. In addition to plants, I also use the worm tea on trees that I have in containers. An even simpler mixing technique is to fill your watering can directly from your rain barrel and mix in the worm tea as you go. A little worm tea fertilizer also makes seedlings happy. It can be used on a mature garden as well. What ought to make you happy is that this super rich organic fertilizer you made for free using kitchen scraps and food waste with little help, okay, a lot of help, from Red Wiggly Composting Worms. So let me know in the comments below if you've had success using this technique or if you have any questions. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for new videos every Friday.